Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us here today as we swear in a new leader in the city of Seattle. I have to say I am beyond thrilled that Emily Alvarado is going to be our permanent director for Seattle's Office of Housing. And boys, do you know what a big deal your mom is? It's awesome, right? I want to applaud the city council for their quick and decisive vote to confirm Emily. Uh, Sitting anytime you're able to have this chance to sit down and talk to Emily about the range of issues facing Seattle, you realize how good a fit she is for this job. She feels the urgent need for more housing and an equitable Seattle in her bones. Um, we know we've got to continue to create more affordable housing and mixed income housing throughout our city. And as we make unprecedented investments, we know that these are going to be critical years for the Office of Housing. Having someone at the helm who understands not just that housing is infrastructure, but what it means to the families who can live there, what it means to a city that needs to build stronger and better equity. Our Office of Housing, our entire city, will be better off with you at the helm. Um, Emily is passionate about creating a more affordable, inclusive Seattle for all of our neighbors. And she's committed to centering racial equity and social justice in her work. Every conversation we've had, she's come filled with innovative ideas. But the common theme among all those ideas is centered on equity and building justice in our city. Because she knows housing is the key to so much if you want to have a thriving city. She's been key to delivering already so many of the programs that we've been doing and the investments we've made for the generations to come. But she's also going to be critical as a team to make sure that as we develop as a city, that all our strategies work together to make sure that we really are building a city where everyone can afford to live and work. I know she's the right person to be lead the Office of Housing. Monica's going to swear in, but it's too late to turn back. <laughs> Congratulations. We're really, really happy for you to do that. Um, we're going to swear her in, and then we'll hear from Emily. Do you want the family to come up while you do this? I think it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> They're quiet. Just, yeah, it's like, get one going. <laughs> Having had two sons, I get that. Emily, it is my honor to administer your official oath of office. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Emily Alvarado, I, Emily Alvarado, swear or affirm, swear or affirm, that I possess, that I possess, all the qualifications, all the qualifications, prescribed in the Seattle City Charter, prescribed in the Seattle City Charter, and the Seattle Municipal Code, and the Seattle Municipal Code, for the position of, for the position of, Director of the Office of Housing, Director of the Office of Housing, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Washington, the Constitution of the State of Washington, and the Charter and Ordinances, and the Charter and Ordinances of the City of Seattle, of the City of Seattle, and that I will faithfully conduct myself, and that I will faithfully <laughs> conduct myself as Director of the Office of Housing, as Director of the Office of Housing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's meet you. Emily's husband, Eric, is going to join us for the hey, Derek, get the boys. Anthony, get the boys. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Mayor Durkin, thank you for this tremendous opportunity to lead the Office of Housing. Thanks to City Council for the confirmation. As I've said before, but it bears repeating, housing is a basic human need. For seniors, it is safety, stability, and a way to age with dignity. For people experiencing homelessness, it's a home and a connection to key social services and health services. 
For working people, it dictates how far you live from work, how long your commute is, and how much time you have left over to spend with your children. And for children, it's the launching pad for success. It is the determinant of your neighborhood school. And so when we make housing investments, we improve the lives of so many individuals and families, but we also improve the city at large because housing is our health care and our education. It, our city, it is our city's economic resilience and our climate resilience. I believe we can build a Seattle where people of all incomes can call home. And I believe we can make transformative investments in affordable housing and build neighborhoods of opportunity for all people. To do so, we need resources, we need more innovation, and we need strategic partnerships. And as evidenced by her budget just a few days ago, that adds tens of millions of dollars to affordable housing, Mayor Durkin gets it. And we can't do it alone. We're gonna need partnerships with community across departments, with our friends in the uh, nonprofit world and affordable housing world, with the county and with the state. And after decades of disinvestment, we need to reinvigorate a commitment at the federal level to invest in affordable housing. I look forward to working with Mayor Durkin and to working with all of you to advance racial equity, to invest in housing for our lowest income households, to promote middle income housing, and to address displacement. And I thank you all. I thank the wonderful staff of the Office of Housing. Yay. It's a privilege to work with you. And I thank very much my fabulous family, Eric, Diego, and Julian. Thank you again. All right, thank you. Just turn it sideways. Sorry. How are you? All right. That was fun, huh? She did great. All right. Is that okay? Yep. Perfect. Three, two, one. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ready? And we'll do back here one more time. Three, two, one. your directions. <laughs> Related to housing, we now get a talk about and I get assigned into law our MFTE extension bill. First, congratulations, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how great that makes me feel. Um, I am now excited to sign into law the first piece of housing legislation with Emily as our official permanent director. Yay! We will be signing our legislation to renew and improve our city's multifamily tax exemption program. This program is critical to creating more affordable apartments that working people can afford in every single part of our city. Thanks to this program, there are nearly 4,500 homes that have been made affordable for our low and middle income neighbors. People like our nurses, our teachers, our construction workers, who really contribute so much to the economy and the vibrancy of the city, but yet could not afford to live here without these programs. And today, we're not just renewing MFTE, we're making it better by adding protections to moderate high rent increases for tenants. This legislation is part of the Housing Seattle Now program we announced this summer that Emily helped draft and the Office of Housing did such yeoman's work on. I wanna thank you all for that. It's a surge of new investments to, in affordable housing for working families. We need housing, particularly housing near transit in every community across our city and we need it even more quickly than we can build it. As part of Seattle Housing Now, we have set critical tenant protections in partnership with Council Member Lisa Herbold. And alongside Council Member Mosqueda, we invested 50 million in housing for people experiencing homelessness without new taxes 
taking advantage of a law passed by Olympia. We got to hang on to those sales tax revenues and put them to work right here for the city of Seattle. We also sold an underutilized city property in Mercer Street to get nearly $300 million in public benefits. And with that agreement, we'll also see hundreds of units of affordable housing built right at South Lake Union and have proceeds to make sure we can add to our acquisitions to really deter some of the displacement and gentrification we see in communities in Seattle. We know that we've had a great upturn in many ways in the economy in Seattle, but with that economy, there have become some challenges. Number one, Seattle's just too expensive for most people to live in, and we've seen communities of color pushed out at such a rapid rate. You know, I grew up in Seattle, and when I was growing up, the Central District was over 70% African American. Today, it's less than 14%. That has such an impact, not just on those families and the history and culture of our city, but on the very diversity and the vibrancy of who we are as a city. So we have to use all tools we have to kind of halt the displacement and to bring people back to our city. Yesterday, as Emily said, I transmitted my 2020 proposed budget to the City Council, and it continues our unprecedented investments in housing. We'll take advantage of a new law that lets us keep existing resources of $25 million to build more housing. And as I said last week, we'll be placing a modest tax on every Uber and Lyft ride, 50 cents new tax. And with that, we will add to our transportation that we need downtown and add almost $50 million in new housing investments over the next five years. Yeah. Because I believe that those drivers of Uber and Lyft should be able to live in the same city as the people they drive. Too many people have been pushed out. We got way behind in our infrastructure. Affordable housing, transportation, social services. We've been playing catch up. But with Emily at the helm and with programs like MFTE, we're going to double down and try to catch up as quickly as we can. And now I'll sign that MFTE legislation alongside our newly sworn in director and anyone else who wants to come on up. Joy. Come on, Joy. Joy administers the MFTE Come on, Joy. Program. Yay. Who's Jen? Jen. Don't be hiding over there. They're saying, why is she using so many pens? So, many pens? so that when people take the pen, they actually get one that was used to sign the legislation. And for drama. <laughs> should I finish or should I not? All right, it is the law. The program is expanded and made better. Thank you for all your work. You. Get a pen. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You get a pen. Thank you. And your first I'll is director. Thank you. And these we're going to auction off to build more housing. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for being here today. We really appreciate it.